Hello students, this is your history lesson. Today we are going to read chapter 8, Agreements, Disagreements and Deadlock, 1930-1939 from Understanding History for Class 8. So we start our lesson. This is page number 55 from your book. From 1930s onwards, the British government was losing patience with the Congress and Muslim League as both continued to reject their proposals for a constitutional settlement. They decided to call all the representatives of the parties and princely states to London for consultations for a constitutional proposal. In the three roundtable conferences held in London 1930-1932, to 1932, Indian leaders were asked to come to an agreement on the future constitution for India. The roundtable conferences 1930-1932, to 1932, when the first roundtable conference took place in 1930, the Congress party was absent because Mr. Gandhi and other Congress members were in jail. The conference successfully agreed that India must be given dominion, dominion, power, status and participation of Indians in the government of British India. The conference also recognized that the rights of the minority communities should be safeguarded. For participation in the second conference, Mr. Gandhi and other members of the Congress were released from jail under the Gandhi Arwan Act. In the second roundtable conference, 1931, Mr. Gandhi represented the Congress. Ilham Iqbal, the Aga Khan, and Mr. Jinnah represented the Muslim League. Master Tara Singh represented the Sikhs. And, and Dr. Ambedkar, the Dalits, the Untouchables. The issue was the suitability of separate electorates, but Mr. Gandhi's stubborn attitude, stubborn uncompromising attitude in rejecting other parties and insisting that only Congress represented all of India led to the failure of the conference in coming to an agreement on constitutional matters. The third roundtable conference in 1932 was poorly attended as there were hardly any delegates. Mr. Jinnah and Mr. Gandhi did not attend and representatives of the Labour Party were not there either. The conference produced no results. The reaction of the British government to the failure of the three conferences was that they decided to work with those parties who were willing and on his return from London, Mr. Gandhi and Congress members were jailed again. So, students, the three round table conferences of 1930 to 1932 were a series of peace conferences organized by the British government and Indian political personalities to discuss constitutional reforms in India. Now or never by Chaudhary Rahmatali 1933. In January 1933, four students studying at Cambridge University in Britain, led by Chaudhary Rahmat Ali, brought out a pamphlet titled Now or Never. In the pamphlet, he said that the time had come to demand a separate Muslim state called Pakistan. The time was now, or it may never happen. He had come up with the name for the state and gave an explanation of it. Pakistan is both a Persian and an Urdu word. It means the lands of the Pak, the spiritually poor and clean. It is composed of the letters of all our homelands, that is Punjab, Afghania, and WFP, Kashmir, Sin, and Balochistan. When the word is written in Urdu, the I is not used in the Urdu alphabet. So, students, Rahmat Ali alone drafted this declaration. The word Pakistan was used for the first time in this pamphlet. He demanded separate Muslim state in 1933, included northwestern and northeastern Muslim majority provinces. The communal award 1932 
right after the round table conferences were over the prime minister of britain ramsey macdonald announced the communal award in august 1932 this meant that all minority communities in india muslims sikhs anglo indians christians parsis and untouchables would be given separate electorates in a future constitution however the award was not popular with the hindus who did not accept the untouchables as a separate minority and muslims were not happy because it reduced their majority in punjab and bengal to a minority yet they were ready to accept it in its annual session held in november 1933 the all india muslim league passed this resolution though the decision falls far short of the muslim demands the muslims have accepted it in the in the best interest of the country reserving to themselves the right to press for that acceptance of all their demands later the communal award led to the making of the government of india act of 1935 by the british as the indians once more had failed to come to an agreement this act was the last written constitution by the british for their indian colony and would prove important for the future of independent india the act became the base for the constitutions of independent india and pakistan after 1947 so students the communal award was created by the british prime minister ramsey macdonald on 16 august 1932 it was announced after the round table conference and extended the separate electorate to depressed classes and other minorities the government of india act 1935 the labor prime minister of britain stanley baldwin was ready now to give as much self government to the indians as possible there were many among the cabinet such as winston churchill who still felt that the indians were not ready for it however the bill was put through the house of commons and became law in 1935 a federal system of government was instituted with full autonomy to be given to the provinces autonomy independence the act of 1935 abolished diarchy diarchy to joint rulers at the provincial level but introduced it at the center this meant that the provinces would be run fully by the indians but at the center the viceroy would still be appointed by the british government and would control defense and foreign affairs however he would follow the advice of an executive committee made up mostly of indians Two new provinces of Sindh and Orissa were created while Burma was made independent of India and given its own government. India was divided into 11 provinces each with its own government and legislature. Separate electorates were accepted for all minority communities. The Muslim League rejected the act because it did not give enough autonomy to the Muslims to run their own affairs in the provinces. The Muslim League also felt that in the in the Hindu majority provinces Muslims might not be treated fairly and justly. The Congress rejected the act because it did not give Swaraj or self rule to Indians and the British were still in control at the federal level. However, the Congress and Muslim League decided to participate in the elections to the provincial assemblies that took place in 1937, but the federal part of the 1935 Act was not put into practice. So, students, it was an act adopted from the Parliament of the United Kingdom. It was the longest act of Parliament ever enacted until Greater. or great london authority surpass 8 the election of 
The elections were won by the Congress party. It had total majority in seven out of 11 provinces and formed governments in both Muslim majority and Muslim minority provinces. For the first time under British rule, Indians gained full authority to run the provincial governments as they wished. This put a lot of powers in the hands of the Congress politicians who focused on a program of Hindu Raj, which meant that Muslims needed to safeguard their culture and traditions. Wardas King Congress Rule 1937-1939 to brought in the Warda Education Scheme, which focused on Hindu religion and culture in schools. All children had to sing Bande Matram as the anthem and bow to the portrait of Gandhi, which Muslim religious teachings disallowed. The Vide Mandir scheme was introduced in central provinces at the primary level of schooling. It encouraged the use of Hindi as the medium of instruction. The Congress flag was hoisted on public buildings and policies were adopted which harmed the interests of the Muslim land owners. In Bihar, cow slaughter was banned. The non-acceptance of Muslim culture and traditions by Congress ministers made the Muslims come to heed the rule of the Congress ministries. Students, the world of scheme. It was an educational scheme based on Gandhi's view and introduced into all educational ministries. Students had to bow before Gandhi's picture each day. Muslims saw this was an attempt to convert them in Hinduism. So this was not acceptable for Muslims. The paper report 1938 the Muslim League appointed a committee under Raja Muhammad Mahdi of Peerpur to record the injustices done to the Muslims under Congress rule. The Peerpur Committee Report of 1938 listed all the measures that were unfair for the Muslim community under Congress rule. Around the same time, two other reports were also written. One was the Sharif Report 1939 and the second titled Muslims Suffering Under Congress Rule by Mr. Fazlul Haq. So, students, the people report was regarding the crimes and cruelties committed by Congress ministries against the Muslim community during their rule. So, this was not acceptable for Muslims as well. The Day of Deliverance, 1939. In 1939, Britain declared war on Germany and the Second World War began. The Congress ministries resigned as they had not been consulted when the decision was made to include India in the war. At the resignation of the Congress ministries, Mr. Jannah declared a day of deliverance from the tyrannical rule of the Congress under which the Muslim minorities led suffered. So, students, the Day of Deliverance was a celebration day marked by the All India Muslim League and others on 22nd December 1939 during the Indian Independence Movement. The reorganization of the Muslim League 1937-1939 Mr. Jannah turned the oppressive Congress rule to his advantage and began a mass campaign to take his message to the Muslims of India. Not only ordinary Muslims but landowners too had suffered under the rule of Congress ministries. Mr. Jannah personally led the campaign and was able to unite all Muslim parties under the Muslim League flag. He came to symbolize the Muslim dream and hope for a distinct identity. Mr. Jannah's popularity as a leader gave him the title of Qaeda Azam or Great Leader. The next year, 1940, the Lahore Resolution would demand Pakistan as a separate state within India. The Qaeda standing as the leader of uh, an All India Muslim League is reflected in the picture below with the grand Jamia Masjid of the Mughal 
emperors in the background the kite in the red circle is garlanded and is led in a procession with the mass of people surrounding him now come to the questions question 1 why did the three round table conferences fail in reaching a constitutional settlement answer when the first round table conference took place in 1930 the congress party was absent because mr gandhi and other congress members were in jail in the second round table conference 1931 the issue was the suitability of separate electorates but mr gandhi's stubborn attitude in rejecting others parties and insisting that only congress represented all of india led to the failure of the conference in coming to an agreement on constitutional matters the third round table conference in 1932 was poorly attended as there were hardly any delegates the conference pro produced no results the reaction of the british government to the failure of the three conferences was that they decided to work with those parties who were willing and on his return from london mr gandhi and congress members were jailed again question 2 what was the importance of the communal award of 1932 answer the communal award was announced after the round table conference 1932 1932 and extended the separate electorate to depressed classes and other minorities the communal the communal award led to the making of the government of india act of 1935 by the british as the indians once more had failed to come to an agreement question 3 why was the government of india act passed in 1935 answer right after after the round table conferences were over the prime minister of britain ramsey macdonald announced the communal award in uh, august 1932 the award was not popular with the hindus and muslims yet they were ready to accept it later the communal award led to the making of the government of india act of 1935 by the british as the indians Question four. Explain the importance of the Act of nineteen thirty-five to Indian politics. Answer: The India Act was the last written constitution by the British for their Indian colony and would prove important for the future of independent India. So there was a need of Government of India Act to make sure independence of India. the act became the base for the constitutions of independent india and was one of the two pakistan after 1947 question 5 why did both congress and muslim league reject the act of 1935 answer the muslim league rejected the act because it did not give enough autonomy to the muslims to run their own affairs in the provinces The Muslim League also felt that in the Hindu majority provinces Muslim might not be treated fairly and justly. The Congress rejected the act because it did not give self rule to Indians and the British were still in control at the federal level. Question 6 which part of the act was put into practice and what were the results? Answer the Congress and Muslim League decided to participate in the elections to the provincial assemblies that took place in 1937 but the federal part of the 1935 act was not put into practice the elections were won by the congress party it had total majority in 7 out of 11 provinces and formed governments in both muslim majority and muslim minority provinces question 7 what were the long term effects of the 1937 elections answer indians gained full authority to run the provincial governments as they wished this put a lot of power in the hands of the congress politics politicians who focused on a program of hindu raj which meant that muslims needed to safeguard their culture and traditions Congress rule 1937 to 1939 brought in the Varda education scheme which focused on Hindu religion and culture in schools 
the non acceptance of muslim culture and traditions by congress ministries made the muslims come to hate the rule of the congress ministries question 8 why was the end of the congress government termed a day of deliverance answer in 1939 britain declared war on germany and the second world war began the congress ministries resigned as they had not been consulted when the decision was made to include india in the war at the resignation of the congress ministries mr jinnah declared a day of deliverance from the tyrannical rule of the congress under which the muslim minorities had suffered question 9 what was the importance of the people report answer the muslim league appointed a committee under raja muhammad mahdi of peerpur to record the injustices done to the muslims under congress rule the peerpur committee report of 1938 listed all the measures that were unfair for the muslim community under congress rule question 10 explain how mr jinari or reorganized the muslim league what were the results answer mr jinnah personally led the campaign and was able to unite all the muslim parties under the muslim league flag he came to symbolize the muslims dreams and hopes for a distinct identity mr jinnah's popularity as a leader gave him the title of qaid e azam of great leader the next year 1940 the lahore resolution would demand pakistan as a separate state within india Thanks for listening. For new videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you like my videos please share and like.